Hello, welcome to Mom Talk. We're so glad you're with us today. And we have a surprise guest coming at the very end of this segment. So don't go anywhere. All right, I'm Anna. <laughs> Hanging out with me today, we have Judy Hi. and Karen. We're talking about um, new moms and how do you best help a new mom? Mm, you've right. been there a time or two, yes, or three or four. <laughs> I, think th I think the very best thing you can do is make a meal and bring it, because mm -hmm. that's one thing that the mom doesn't have yes. to worry about that yes. day. And the only precaution I would give is if you're, the mother's nursing, right. to ask if there's any foods that are not a problem. Or it's always sure. nice to ask what the fa you know, family favorites are, but mm -hmm. I just always appreciated that when I had right. a baby. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of that would be like any errands someone could run, like yes. go to the store oh, yes. for you. Yes. Or if you're willing, watch the baby for a little bit while the mm -hmm. mom runs to the store for 15 minutes of you're time alone. <laughs> I know, those are really good. Okay, yeah. let me ask you this before we move to Judy. When you're feeling stressed out about trying to make a meal for someone, when you're making a meal for your family, and how do you sort of work through some of that stress? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just make double. Oh, you know, make oh. what you're going to make for yourself, make for them. Yeah. Very you could also smart. just bring a bunch of snacks that they could have. You know? Right, true. Yes. I think Jacinda has a video for us. Let's watch. Do you kids know what I wish I had known when you were all in my belly? No. no. I wish I had known that God knew exactly what he was doing. And he picked me out to be your mom and he picked you guys out to be my kids. I was so scared. I okay. thought it was going to be a terrible mom. <laughs> and look at us. We're making it, aren't we? I wish mm. I had known that. Mm. And then I wouldn't have worried so much. Oh, oh that's nice. just it. I love it. <laughs> I'm telling you, as a new mom, we yes. want sleep. We oh. want sleep. We're tired. So uh -huh. offer to take the other children for Ooh. a couple hours even. Watch Great. the baby. Yes. You know, um, bring a pack of diapers when you come on over instead right. of just your meal or whatever, which is right. huge, by the way. It's huge to bring a meal. Yes, bring yeah. a meal. But bring a pack of diapers with you. Right. Bring snacks. One of my dear friends got me a whole bunch of like breakfast kind of snack things okay. to help as I nurse the baby. And sure. it was awesome. That's like that was one of my favorite things that I got this yeah. time around. That's a good idea because some people might want to bring a meal, but also a gift. Right. As well. Right. So those can be a good practical gifts. And clothes are awesome. I mean, everybody likes to get the cute little clothes, but like mm -hmm. practicality tends to rule when you're a new mom. Right. Like yeah. you just need diapers and food and, mm -hmm. you know, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Or run the bat vacuum. Pick up the vacuum. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's a good Run one. the vacuum. Uh -huh. yeah. But Carly has a video for us. Check it out. So you're a new mom. This is a wonderful time. But guess what a lot of us new moms do? We will start comparing. Comparing our baby to someone else's baby, our parenting style to someone else's. But we have to remember, no two thumbprints are the same. So our children are not going to be the same. So go to God. Ask him what your child needs, how to be a mom to your baby, because you're a mom to that child for a reason. God knew what he was doing. Go to him. Seek advice from him of what your baby needs. Yes, mm. yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's good. I mean, we can give encouragement to right. new moms, and especially if they're first time moms exactly and to help them navigate and be confident that mm -hmm. they are the right mom for right. their kids right god knew yeah. what he was doing right. yes because when they're sleep deprived they may not believe that oh <laughs> sleep deprived hormones oh, are going crazy raging. your body right. is healing like right. We're pretty much a hot mess whenever we have a new baby. All the time. So be kind and compassionate. Grace, give lots yes, yes, of grace. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, so are you ready for our special guest? I'm so excited. Uh, you know Judy is our new mom, yeah. and we have been waiting to introduce Hello. Jeremiah Samuel. Here he is, everybody. He's saying hi, look. He's sleeping. Hi. This is his camera debut, and he's sleeping right through it. That's all right. Yeah, that's all, that's all right. I know. He's crying, huh? Yes. <laughs> well, we are just so thrilled that we've had yes. the chance to walk this journey with you a little bit. and Me and my hot mess. <laughs> that's right. Because <laughs> we've, we've all been there. Yes. We understand. Right. And we really want to just close out today by praying over you and okay. Jeremiah. All right, join us, please, as we pray. God, we thank you for this precious boy who you created fearfully and wonderfully. 
You planned out every day of his life before one of them came to be. And you have an amazing plan for him. Mm -hmm. God, we just pray that he will um, hold firm to the path that you have blazed for him, that he will grow up to be a mighty mm -hmm. man of God who will um, work in all the giftings and talents that you've given him and that he will love you with all of his heart. Mm -hmm. And then he will be an amazing, incredible influence in this world. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray for Judy and Travis as they parent him. <laughs> Give them wisdom. Mm -hmm. Give them strength. Guide them as they um, turn to you so that they can be godly parents and raise him in the ways that you have laid out in your word. Mm -hmm. We thank you, God, for all that you're going to do in this little <laughs> boy's life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us here at Mom Talk. We believe Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. So thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.